Tonight, the Convention Center hosts the Union Gospel Mission's yearly Thanksgiving feast. Our Jack Ferris is live at the dinner tonight. And uh, Jack, were you able to do any uh, food quality control? <laughs> Nadine, you know me. I'm just like Mark. Don't call me Griswold Peterson. I'm willing to help my community in any way possible. And as you mentioned, things wrapping up a little bit earlier than expected here. A lot of satisfied Spokane citizens going home with full bellies. What a lot of people may not realize about tonight's dinner is the world-class quality of the food and service. Between 1,000 and 1,100 people are expected to eat tonight at the convention center, which will call for a lot of birds. We cooked 210 turkeys for today. We won't go through all of that, but it'll be about 180, something like that for today. Those turkeys are prepped by not just your run-of-the-mill volunteers, but by center plate catering professionals. So you have a chef, you have a real sous chef, and then we bring a team of guys from the mission, our own chef Derek Mobley, and he brings some resident workers, and we work together to put on this dinner. The top shelf kitchen staff is matched only by the professional service corps, all local citizens donating their time to give people a first class dining experience. Seven years ago, the Union Gospel Mission partnered with the Spokane Facilities District and its entities to come up with this idea of not only reaching the poor or the, the homeless, but inviting the families who are having trouble making ends meet. And we put our heads together and we came up with this amazing opportunity to use this facility and the city just rallied. It's, it's been very exciting to watch it grow. The final product? A meal fit for a king. People who are attending are going to be treated like royalty, and I don't think they understand the classiness of the people who are waiting on them and, and preparing this for them. Nadine, we'll talk a little bit more about numbers here. Although we are wrapping up early, Lori Wilson estimates that we were able to feed around 1,000 people tonight. I mentioned the 200 turkeys. What I didn't tell you is the around 400 pumpkin pies donated by Cyrus O'Leary's. Reporting live from the convention center, Jack Ferris, KXOY4 News. Man, what a